What would happen if 800 of the world's most elite footballers and their managers lived together under one roof? Well, in the debut season of The Champions, we found out. Hi everyone and welcome to The Champions Season 1 Reunion Show. I'm Kate Abdo here with some of the more noteworthy footballers and of course their managers from this season. Hello everyone. Hello. 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 Hi Jose, that's uh, quite an outfit. It's very decorative. It is the most decorative. I am the most decorated manager. So I have to start by asking, how are things between you and Paul? Paul and I are good. Last week we even made eye contact. He knows what I think of him. He is very talented. I just want him to focus. I am very focused. I am focused on football. I am focused on my rap career. I am focused on my shoe deal. I am focused on my hair, commercials. I am focused on all of it. Luca, looks like you've gone back to your old look after your Flare 5 makeover. Duh. Well, uh, mostly. So what did you learn from that experience? I learned that I'm more like a messy type, like uh, let my football do the talking, you know? I'm the best in La Liga, b oh. I'm better than you with two broken elbows! Oh, yeah? Oh. I got the trophy this year, b How many jerseys yourself? A lot, oh. How about you pay your taxes and then we talk? Right. Oh. So, who's next for the Flare 5? Right. Well, we just spent some time with Fellaini. It was actually amazing, we straightened his hair. Kevin De Bruyne, I understand you feel the show portrayed you a bit unfairly, made you look simple. Do you stand by this? Kevin, yeah. I wonder if you're the only one. Does anyone else here feel they were portrayed unfairly? I was made to look like a mumbler when in fact I enunciate quite clearly. I'm sorry, and you are... Harry Kane, captain of the Three Lions and one very hot spur. No, wait a moment. No, you're not. You're... You're Matthew Crawley from Downton Abbey! It's Dan- it's actually Dan Stevens. I'm the actor who played Matthew Crawley, and I'm in other things, you know. I played Sir Lancelot in the Third Night the Museum movie! I can kick a stupid ball just like you. Grr! And kick your stupid- Okay, um, want to shift gears now to Real. With Ronaldo gone, who would you say is the best player in Madrid? Hmm, uh, We run Madrid now. Who needs Galacticos when you have Galacticos? <laughs> oh, please. Everybody knows you're just jealous of me, the real bad boy of La Liga. And you're jealous that we have a real manager. I'm not going to argue with that one. Yeah. Yeah. Mo, Sergio, I notice you're still stuck together. Sergio, will you ever apologize to Mo and just end this curse already? I will never apologize for who I am. Sorry, Mo. At this point, I understand you will always be a douche, and I accept that. What? Whoa. Nice. Ow. <laughs> Now, one of the unfortunate things about having over 800 people in a house is that we can't feature everyone. We heard a lot from Galatasaray fans that they were hoping to see their club. So let's bring out Selchuk Inan of Galatasaray. Come on out, Selchuk. Hi, Selchuk. Tell me, how is your Champions League season going? Mm, not great. Well, that's all very exciting. Let's move on to Deli Alley. I hear you're working on a new Deli Alley challenge. Wait a minute. Where are all the Tottenham guys? I thought you said you could take us home, Harry. Yeah, Harry. Take us back to the mansion for the knockout stage. Oh, I got us home. I don't know. I got us home. I think it's right here past the... Ha ah, ha! Not if I take Inter home first. All we have to do is beat PSV! Uh, well, that's definitely not the right way. Wait. This is not the mansion. Well, get used to it. Because this is your new home now. <laughs> Welcome to your Europa League. It's not so bad here, but it's also not so good.